Welcome, chosen one. What is up, ace holes? Welcome back to another Gwent video. Some more assimilate today. Um, but we're, we're trying a new card. It's, it's not a new card, but it's a card that I've never played before. And it just in general has not seen a lot of play. And that is Anna Henrietta. Uh, besides this, the deck is mostly the same as it has been for the past three or four times I've showed it. Obviously, last time we had Vilgaforce Renegade, which I cut because... What an asshole. Uh, otherwise, though, it is the same. I, I wanted to just put Triss back in. Because I just love her and assimilate. And I, I still want to put her back in. The problem was... I could not find a way to do so. Like, like she was in instead of Anna Henrietta, and then I had two less provisions, and then instead of bribery, I was looking for a six provision card, but it's like, it, they're all bad. And I don't want to do Amnesty with Triss, because I'm breaking Devotion with Triss, and then I'm making Triss potentially worse by having Amnesty in my deck, so everything else just kind of sucks. And I'm not quite at the point where I'm going to modify my deck to play Blightmakers. Like, I, I don't mind them. But, you know, I've quite enjoyed playing without them. So we're going to keep doing that. Uh, like I said, though, outside of Anna Henrietta, deck is the same. Anna Henrietta is a card that I have never played. It is kind of a meme card. Uh, it, has, it has good matchups. It has bad matchups. I think most of the ones that are popular now are pretty good targets for her. Like Imprisonment, Double Cross Mirrors, uh, Nature's Gift we can make work, Invigorate we can make work, Rage of the Sea, Reckless Flurry we can make work. Like mo Most of the popular ones we can make work fairly easily. And even some of the harder ones, we can still make them work. And that just seems like a very satisfying thing to do. Maybe. You've got the heart of an uncrate. It's just that's that's a type of tricky situation you only see on the Great Dandelion show. You never experience it in real life. Until you do. Okay, I mean against Flurry, she's a twelve point card. And I don't need her now. But I can't play her now. Ooh. I can I can play her at any point in the game. As long as I'm comfortable using my leader. Which obviously right now is not great, but could be interesting. There were so many cards in my last opponent's deck. What? What are you? What is Reckless Flurry doing with the Defender? Oh, I... Can't stand defenders. What is Reckless Flurry doing with the defender? On ranged row. It's, it's not even protecting a dagger. Is it pirates? Flurry pirates? That'd be kind of cool. It is. Okay. Well, that is spicy. I am gonna lose this round. Like, really hard. Oh. 
Oh. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Uh, I don't care. I am probably losing this round. But you know what? I mean, losing the pirates, that'd, that'd be fun. I, I, I can't believe somebody's actually playing pirates here. But you know that's that's the fun part about being at the bottom of pro rank. You know that's that's where people you know this late in the season, the people who are here are the ones that you know they're done, they're satisfied. They're not. Oh yeah, he can ping. You know they're not gonna climb anymore. They wanna have fun. They wanna have fun. And that is awesome. So many of my cars are fucked. Well, if you play as a unit, it's gonna just kill this. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a boost, but uh, at least I negate some of his value. Kind of a baller play, if I do say so myself. <laughs> At least I'm glad I uh, didn't go first, because now I can potentially just pass here if I want to. I'm gonna use this red coin for all it's worth. I'm out. I'm not touching this round anymore. Now they're gonna rest their defender, then they're gonna rest crack. But at least hopefully this time I will have invocation. Nope. I guess we, we don't need invocation. can just steal his leader and use that let's see are you, are you are you going for the double res I mean pirates could probably do the double res could they <clears throat> I'm not sure like I'm, I don't I don't know what to expect from pirates what are you doing? Like the axe wielder? That's cool. <clears throat> that has synergies. It's actually pretty good with crack. Not gonna lie. I like it. Oh, they're doing it. Okay, Crackster. Where are my coup de grace and invocations? And why are they not here? Suffering a noble's friend. You'll be a count once I'm done with you. God, I'm just gonna I'm gonna get wrecked. I'm gonna get wrecked by pirates, and I'm okay with it. Would have loved, would have loved a coup de grace. Oh my god, yes. Look at that. I'm getting so butchered. Could maybe get some removal with this? Removing all of my stuff. What 
don't play the demon warship. Okay, I mean, he's still killing it. <laughs> what is happening? What is this? What is this stupid? I love it. Tight cloak hide away. Did I art out here? I feel like maybe I should. Get a Fukusha, get a bunch of rain. Bring back probably him. Would that be a thing to do? Would it? A 50 50 to get mana. Let's do that. Hell yeah. Now, do I Fukusha or do I? I mean, I know what I'm getting from that. Damn it, I misclicked. Misclicked. I should have gotten the boosty boy. I mean, it's not. Not that much of a difference. Honestly. Yep. I get that you don't want to clog your crack row. You don't want to clog your crack, but... That really was not good for you, sir. I think I'm gonna have to commit something here, right? You know, I'm probably I'm gonna I'm gonna get a gutting slash and then I'm gonna have bloodthirst, I'm gonna kill crack. Now would be a decent time for them to pass. It, it really is hard to play assimilate when you're not super familiar with the opponent's deck like obviously if, you, if they're playing a meta deck and you know the list top to bottom you can really plan out and although it, like i'm not surprised by any of these cards it's still interesting still very very interesting i have a ship Alright, it's time to, uh... I'm, I'm being greedy saving these guys. Although probably not that greedy. But I probably should play one. Or just Anna. Should I just play Anna? Oh. Oh. Speak your mind to the point. 
Mana Strength Reno. Safe from a pass. Punish the bleed. They have a Morkvark. They have a 7 point Heat Wave, and then they have a uh, 6 point Morkvark. 11 point Morkvark. <laughs> Morkvark has a body. Probably a nice one, too. I mean, he, he probably stays in shape, right? What do we got? Gremist. Do I still have my ship? I do. Okay, Gremist would have not been nine. He would have been eight. It would have been eight, so it doesn't matter. Come on, you're gonna play Morkster? You wanna play a Morkster? No, you're gonna save your Morkster. Like that was intent. Like I I I had no idea what was going on there. Like, you know, obviously they couldn't pass and give me a longer round. Because that benefits me more than them, but in bleeding me, they, uh... They did the business. I'll just keep the remedy, it's pretty good. It's a good remedy. I'll even just... Play it like this. That's right, we spare none because we're reckless flurry pirates. You know what I'm saying? He might help me set up Coup de Gras if he doesn't die here. He might die. If it were me, I probably would. Because, you know, at this point, like, what's even going on, right? Okay, we know he has Morkvarg. I'm not too scared. I might lose one of my golds, but I have two. I just lost that, which is fine. I should probably Fukusha. Yeah. I should have Fukusha. I don't even know what that means. Alright. Watch this though. I don't care. I still have a nine point dead man's tongue, which is not fantastic. But it's okay. All right, honor pass. I take it. GG. Let's see what their name was. The person who's playing pirates. Shalubi. Good game. That was really cool. Alright, I'm pretty sure I've only played two matches. I've been recording for over 40 minutes. Were they that long? Oh god. Okay, either it's a fucking legend playing actual Deathwish, or it's someone trying to bring back V. I'm very uncomfortable with both. Wait, no I'm not. <laughs> That's what happens when I talk. You know, just trying to be funny without actually thinking. I'd be very happy to see actual Death Wish. Very happy. I'd love it. Oh, 
I would I would absolutely adore that. Pirates and then Death Wish. Makes me almost feel bad for playing this. But at least, you know, I'm not playing the imprisonment version. I'm not playing not playing bite makers. I have Anna Henrietta. So I'm doing some spice of my own. But if I'm queuing into back to back epic decks. That could be a problem. I'm just going to get rid of both those emissaries because I hate them. They are bad. Okay, show me. The thing is, like, V decks, they, they take a few turns before you know it's V. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good start. Good start. Don't mind if I do. You do not have a second one. Predatory dive. They don't. They, do, do V players play that? But I haven't seen a V player in like six months. That's gonna be longer than that. Is it? Yeah, that'd be April. People weren't playing V in April, were they? I don't remember. I wasn't playing Gwent in April. That's for sure. Is it Death Wish? Is it actual Death Wish? I would be so happy. And if I insert a needle here, what then? What is happening today? Overloaded servers, people playing Death Wish and pirates. And that wacky assimilate deck from the first holy shit. That's Griffin. I play Griffin in Deathwish because it's actually a, a decent consume unit. And then you have Mamuna. What is this? This is awesome. I need some rats so I can copy some griffins. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this. Is this... Come on, Vigo. Come on, Vigo. That's my man. Might as well get some value. I I can't I can't get over this day. I mean, th what is happening? Ah, the beast. Beast is right. I'm just gonna get another Griffin. I mean, we haven't seen much much Death Wish. But it's gotta be. I mean, there's no way this is V. Like, after all of that. We're five cards in, and there's no setup for V. This is not V. This is Death Wish. And I just played against Pirates. And the weirdest Assimilate deck I've ever seen. I love this day. It's Singleton Death Wish. Okay, so no Mamuna with Griffins, which is actually kind of a shame, because I, I think that's pretty cool. But Rodea. Death Wish. What? I love it. Is there going to be a shoop? Is there going to be an actual factual shoop? They may have dropped it, but I, I, I'm thinking, like, if you're going to play it, play that stuff, then you got it. You got to go all in with the shoop, man. 
All right. All right. You have four points a turn for free. Scare me. Harpy egg. Yes. Oh my god. They didn't get to play Rodea on melee though, which is the whole point, which is a, such a shame. But come on, dude. I mean, I guess I kind of need some spy givers, but I don't don't want to. We're gonna see a haunt. All right, next round, next round haunt. Okay, thinning with Menno. Thinning with Menno. Yes. Oh yeah, I do have an, another tactic worth tutoring. I probably draw it. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, I'd love to get a haunt of my own. But I would have to be really, really lucky with my leader to do that. Which I'm just not sure I'll be able to be. This is a good hand, though. I really want to. But, like, I won't even see half their hand. Like, what are the odds? That was really bad. Satisfaction guaranteed. But... At least it was 13 points. You have our undivided attention. I really wanted that haunt. Like, I, I did it for the memes. If I'd gotten the haunt, and then I triggered the haunt, it would have been so good. Wait, was this in their hand? I got that from their hand. They're playing Incubus. I have a bunch of five strength spies there and a bunch of griffins in my graveyard. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, I know I should be playing some assimilate units before doing all of this. <laughs> oh god. What? No! <laughs> that was so good. I, want, I wanted to see that match play out. I mean, where is the haunt? Where is the stuff? Was no. Oh God. All right, we're back to Nilfgaard. Okay. <clears throat> so this is just gonna be a shit fest. <laughs> it's too good though. It's, it's gonna be fun. If nothing else, it's gonna be fun. Uh, 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 let's see. Probably don't want. The immediate remedies. I, I saw that. Okay, it's not going to be as fun. Wow. You this, you? Nilfgaard players are getting more and more desperate for proactivity every day. <laughs> I mean, I'm struggling myself. You know, when I have to go first, I often drop a turncoat with no target. Yes, yes, very interesting. See, 
because of the shield, it's not a waste to just do this. I see you. Alright, let's see if maybe Vigo is good to me today. Yes. Wanderer. Jesus Christ. I got a tempo out quick. Alright. It's not too bad. I wish I had a coup de grace. I'll admit. Rathens has to come down, right? Although I've already put Vigo. Her grace will not be pleased. I think we're just doing this. That movement triggers me. It triggers a lot of bad memories. Second tourney joust. High roll into a second tourney joust. The Nilfgaard way. Or assassination. Either one works. Remedy for... Yeah, my dad turn coat. That's decent. Alright, fur cart. Okay, Remedy's dead. Assassination is not really doing anything. I like the Practitioner. He's a fun one. Alright. Do you want your Wanderers to come out? Because if you keep playing, they're gonna come out. They always pass when the wanderers get to that. They're like, "Oh, oh no, I can't, I can't spend my wanderers round one." Wait, is that the last card to enter? Because it goes left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right, right? It doesn't matter because I don't have this next round. What am I doing? Where was the last card to enter? A remedy? Ooh. Do I enjoy torture? Perhaps. Okay, we're probably not doing that. Okay, how about long round three? Big wanderers, but I flood their board. Can I do that? Can I flood their board? Am I the board flutter? might be. Am I the board flutter? I'd like to think that I am, especially if they play a second blight maker that's three units. Yeah. We're gonna go for the flood! Let's see, I've Given spying to basically everything here, right? So fur card is the best one. I'm not, I'm not loving the fur card. I think I'm gonna wait for like an Artaud or something. And that just go crazy. That's yes. Thank you. Thank you. Give me these cards. Uh, of course, I do have to. Yeah, I have spy givers in their graveyard. If I need some extra ones. Uh, Menno gets this. And that gets that. Or this. Beautiful hand. 
Absolutely gorgeous. Am I flooding the board? Am I going to be able to flood the board? I don't know. Okay, Joachim is guaranteed turncoat, which is pretty good to just get down now. Is there a particular row I should be flooding? I guess the ranged one. Alright, Wanderers. I'm gonna wander all over your nuts. I, I, yes, that is a lot of extra tempo that they have over me here. I just have to hope that my deck is just a tiny bit extra greedy. Is it? Of course, if, if I do the board flood. Which is looking not too hard. Definitely not too hard. I gotta think like the killing stuff obviously works against it. Uh, but I can coot across a Vigo here. I kill and copy Artorius Vigo. What is truth if not an illusion? And then make him big, I guess. Alright, that doesn't flood the board. That's not a unit. I don't like my opponent not playing units. But they are getting an extra 12 points. I, I can deal with 12 points, huh? Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Alright. Brathens? I think... Uh, Brathens. I don't have a mage to put on top of my deck, so I can't actually copy this. So maybe wait with the Brathens? Which is really weird. Okay, I guess we just... That's a bad idea. Do I have backup for Menno? Yeah. Okay, I messed up. I shouldn't have done it like that. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this. I don't care. Like, I know I could have done like spies and shit, but uh, like I can't copy this. It's a three-point copy because I don't have any mages here. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Now I have things to copy too. Wait, was this ready at the start of my turn? It may have. No, wait, no, I, I clicked it at the end of my last turn. I always get comments about my, my sequencing with turn codes, but I don't think I'm doing it that wrong. I can't be doing it that wrong. Alright, we're, we're approaching fun times. Just hope that they don't flood my board. I mean, they've been doing such a good job on their own side, so I... I don't feel too threatened. You know, with, with their range row now completely dead, they can't take my Anna Henrietta. What you getting? 
Is that such a good idea, sir? Is that really that good of an idea? Well, I can't play spies now. Do they they have one in there? Actually no. I know the truth. I simply want you to admit it. I'm probably not copying our tat. Okay, at least it's bad, except for all the assimilate triggers. Well, I can put that Brathens on top of my deck, and then I have room for a Spy, which... Losing this? I forgot that. Now you can comment about the turn code sequencing. Should have maybe just taken the the thing. You know what? If I do that, he has unit space. I'm gonna have to play some some trash myself. Should I just take the tourney joust? I mean, at this point, I actually don't need more unit space, so I can go for uh, the absolute crap. <laughs> All right, you know, I got I got a bit flooded in return, but uh, a lot less, which was good for me. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I had a lot of fun, but that's because my matchups were. Assimilate Mirror, <laughs> Pirates, Singleton Deathwish, and another Assimilate Mirror. Was there another match in there? I, I don't think so. It's just that the first two were so long. Uh, this, I mean, Assimilate is always fun. I mean, I, I would have kept playing, but I'm, I'm kind of exhausted, so... I'm just going to leave it here. It, it's always fun. Like, I I can talk about this for for probably hours. Every Assimilate video on uh, uh, how much fun it is. So, I think, you know, just, just to keep it more short and light. Short and light. I'm just going to focus mainly on the, the new thing as we tried today, which was really just Anna Henrietta. It's, it's interesting. Like, obviously, I had two double cross mirrors. She is great in double cross mirrors. Uh, I play against Reckless Flurry, which, you know, makes her... She's a 12 for 9 that you can play at any time. Like, the problem with Anna Henrietta would be leaders like Onslaught, Royal Inspiration. Where, if you don't have her round 1 and you just instantly use your double cross leader and then play Anna Henrietta like copying your opponent's leader just quickly loses value over time so if you draw her round three even in a 10 card round three 
Stealing Onslaught. First of all, you'd have to use your leader for uh, for, for high RNG value, and then your leader would still just be five points, right? So. I think she's fine right now because of the the leaders that are being played. Like even even inspired zeal. Now it only works with you know with NR units, but we have so many ways to just get copies of our opponent's units. Like their Rafheart's Vengeance, we can definitely make copies of that. Uh, their duelists. Uh we can just remedy their biggest student. Give it zeal. So even inspired zeal, you know, puts her as a 9 for 9 that can give zeal to some pretty good cards that you can very easily copy. So I, I do think she's probably a decent card now. You know, in the current meta. She's still a bit, still a bit clunky, a bit meme -y. I think she will definitely perform well significantly more often than she will perform poorly. So if, if you're a person who wants to play Anna Henrietta, I think now is the time. I think we're in a pretty good spot for her. I, I think ultimately in my you know assimilate journey, I don't think she's going to be sticking around for too long. But it was fun to try her out. I don't think she's bad, at least not right now. I mean, she's fun. It's a cool card. Bribery was also just kind of a filler this time. You know, obviously, if it low rolls, it's shit. If it high rolls, it's good. That's the nature of the card. Um, but you know, cards generally are pretty good these days. So I think a lot of the time, like you'll at least get something decent. But th this is also one that, you know, in in like the final version of this deck, if I ever get that far, I don't think bribery is in it. It's just, you know, I... I have all but a couple of cards figured out, and then... You know, when, when you're dealing with just, just the final two cards, two or three cards, you don't want to change anything else, you're very limited by provisions, and so it's like, okay... I want to try this. It's a nine. Okay, what do I have left? Eight provisions. Okay, what do you do? What do you do? I'm not doing this. What do you do? You could do Tourney Shelmar. I honestly think this deck could probably get some very good Tourney Shelmar value. You know, that remains to be seen. It may be worth a shot. I don't know. But otherwise, it's not really... Not many options. We don't need the War Council, so. I completely forgot I had Magic Lamp in here. It makes sense. Anyway, thank you once again for watching. Hope you enjoyed just uh, a little bit more Assimilate. Yeah, I felt like doing it again because last time we we tried Renegade and I, I honestly, like we had fun. I had fun, but I feel like the card just actually reduced the fun because it was just like okay when do i play this what do i do i much more enjoyed anna henrietta as an experimental card and hope you enjoyed her more too i'm sure a lot of you enjoy her <laughs> i hope to see you again for more grant content um i patches on thursday right today's monday patches on thursday I should be able to get a video out then. I'm hoping. I, I think... I think I work in the late shift, so I, ha I have time when the patch drops. So hopefully, patch day video coming in just a couple of days. Until then, have a good one. And uh, stay safe.